I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well... I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? It's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on guys, we all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And... I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, and we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, so freaking cute! So, the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, 
I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, oh, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! Now, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas.
Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. Whoa! Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. But they all look exactly the same? What? No, they. I, I am offended. They are, I'm pretty sure, offended. Look at their offended little faces. Sorry, I just can't pick one. Fine. Well, in that case, I guess there just won't be a Reuben in the festival this year. Come on, boys. Sugar, nice. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, Jesse, wow, hi. I'm just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? How'd you even get up there? That's, like, really high. Oh, 
Oh, getting up wasn't the hard part, but getting down was. <laughs> uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Jesse! Well, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey, guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is going to be all the rage this year. Slime diving. <gasps> Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. 100% totally, mostly safe, we think. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's going to help us settle this. Wood's a classic choice. Let's go with that. Nice. That turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse! Woohoo! Oh, I'm nervous. Woo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Yes! Uh, that move. That's the one we're doing. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? No! Oh, stupid zombie! Oh, I missed this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Get that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. 
Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. <laughs> Haven't lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. What can I say? My public adores me. <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. I'm just glad you're here with me now. But, uh... Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on!
her to save you, Petra. Maybe we can seal them off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Ah! Whew, that totally did the ah, trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. Cheater, much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be, like, a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Uh, hey there, llama. Come here, girl. Good llama. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... <laughs> oh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor, I'm the- Leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? get up there who knows but it's coming down now
get out of the way. I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. something? Well, if it does, it's too bad it didn't come with an instruction manual. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Okay, ow, wow, stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Yeah, maybe it was down here waiting for me. Okay, that's just... unsettling. Uh-oh! Get off the pyramid, quick! Willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Agreed. sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Uh, on second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something.
straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... that was really bad. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. Knew you'd be excited. Yes! And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's... ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating... Without my sword? I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other? is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? It's more like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Petra, you're not scared of her, are you? What? No, she, she's just... She's really manipulative, all right? Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore.
Here's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon toners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches you. You. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Okay, why aren't you saying anything? I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. That's... Ugh. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra... Oh, sweetie, no. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. to know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm going to get my sword back. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me.
We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Well, easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty funny. She seriously thinks this makes you a hero? Treasure you got from other people? Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's... you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources! You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Shh, check it out. That's right, it's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. <gasps> Hello. Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Just hand over the sword, Stella. Don't make me get tough here. Fine, fine. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened, and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! It feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good.
What is that? Stop that. Or those. Well, that's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Oh, cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. So good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. You still hang out with me, though. Well, yeah. But that's because I knew you when you were still just a nerd in a treehouse. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Spider Peak Mountain? The Ice Crags of Doom? It's just like I told you! Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? 
Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm I, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not everyone's brave enough to follow them. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So cool. So awesome to meet you. I love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Aye, whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? <sighs> Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. I don't get it. What's the big deal? It's a glove. There's a hole in the ground. Oh, it's much more than that, friend. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. 
I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. <laughs> no. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano, you remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! And Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it. I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Hey! Well, I think it's gonna be awesome. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nurmi. Don't blow a gasket. Huh. I didn't know you villagers went on adventures. <laughs> yeah, most don't. <laughs> you know, I remember when we first met. We had that uh, map. Well, that's another story for another day. All you gotta know is there's no one else I'd rather have by my side. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little... squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The Vest of Five Fists? Gifted to me by the Singing Clerics of Port... Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Radar. Blue hair smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Why didn't I factor in rehearsal Radar. time? Stupid, stupid! I'm sure I can shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway, they'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for Founding Day-related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah! Sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends? And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. 
I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. Best part is, there's always another adventure on the horizon. Yeah, like a sea temple. Yeah, okay, not exactly what I meant, but sure. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Look ferocious. <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face saying that. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything. I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Well, we all have to start somewhere. Just uh, take it at face value. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, Let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name.
So I leapt off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine! <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, can I come too? Oh, yeah. Of course. I just assumed you'd be busy, like, running Beacon Town. But, yeah, the more the merrier. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Mm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Yeah, I've seen weirder than that. True. Old builders, wither storms, computers. Well, let's just agree to disagree. I'll give you one thing, though. Admin or not, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Temples. That way. How... Compass. Right! Oh, that's so cool!
goes. Sure that we have all our limbs? How about we find that structure block? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Pretty, uh, impressive, oh, man, right? those things are creepy. If you look closely. The carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep. Completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience. <gasps> I, uh, I'm gonna need a sec. Just to... Check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa! It's uh, got me like uh, frozen in place. Uh, I'll be all right. I don't care if you're swimming through a potion of slowness. Move your feet, Jack. You're being dumb. What? Yeah, you're right. I'm better than this. I am better than this. Guys, hey, I found something. Uh, be right there. Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels. To have everyone around you think you're some... has been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So... just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh... Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. Uh. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. Can't tell if that's stoic silence or scared silence. But either works, I guess. was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Huh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. What are those things for? 
and it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Jack, is that, uh, dark prismarine? Or something like it. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. All right, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water floating in midair? That should be impossible. Oh. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh. He won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Hmm. Yeah, but what if it is real? The admin, I mean. Ugh. <sighs> Trapped down here with a bunch of soft-headed shulkers. Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Petra, I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab the sponges. Cool. I'm on it. Yeah! Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. And go! Hey, Scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack! So sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Hey, care to explain yourself, Jack? I don't have to explain my... Oh. You're right. I really messed up. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. Glowing obsidian. So strange. Uh, hello! Is someone there? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> I, I thought I heard someone! Kalu Kale! <laughs> I think if you get the door open, my cage should open too. You know, if you don't mind. Oh, it's so nice to hear another voice after all this time. Uh, but who are you? A friend. I'll leave you to it. 
Now, I've got a good feeling about you and that door. Prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. 